So uh, just to tell you what the background, what it's all about. Uh, so we are human resources consultants and we're addressing the head of human resources at Google, which could be you as a person. Okay. When you're ready, you can start and I will start So after a 20 hour journey from Hong Kong, we landed in Silicon Valley to pitch another client and we noticed something strange. Three out of 10 people look like me or this woman here. Six out of 10 people look like this gentleman here. Is that representative of the US demographics? So that's the problem that Google is facing now. 35% of the workforce is Asian. 55% is Caucasian and 10% are others. So that's the problem we are here to address today. Our recommendation is threefold, acquisition, retention, and um, a long-term CSR program, because these problems don't get solved overnight. The impact, we expect an increase in application pool by around 2,000 per year, uh, increase in retention, and a long-term pool of successful candidates for your company. Why is this ethically a problem? So Wilson will yeah. talk you through that. Sure. So um, why is diversity an ethical issue and why is it important for Google to address this as soon as uh, effectively as possible? Well, you know, reasonable people can disagree on the uh, deep dive in philosophy and all the implications from uh, those arguments. And, uh, you know, some people may believe certain things because of religious reasons and so forth. But we're really coming here from a common sense sort of generally societally understood perspective that all people have essentially equal rights and should be provided with equal opportunity without discrimination or um, <clears throat> uh, being judged based on anything but their merits. Of course, this is an ideal situation and we realize because of uh, you know numerous historical forces, uh, cultural forces going back thousands of years, uh, in the US in particular, that this is simply not the case as, as it is right now. So, how do we get, you know, what is Google's role in getting from the ideal to the, or the reality to the ideal? Well, we live in a capitalist society uh, where the corporations such as Google and others really hold all the power to influence the well-being of the people in our society. And the, uh, Google, because of their hiring practices, any, or any company, because of their hiring practices, can essentially choose. You are going to have a good job, you are going to make a lot of money, and you are going to be a future leader in the economy. What Google can, what Google has the imperative to do, and what we argue all countries have the ethical imperative to do, is to, it, is to do their very best to hire a group of people that look like what we have in this country, to correct the injustices faced against women and underrepresented minorities by hiring them, at least in proportion to what we're seeing in our society today, so that we may one day achieve this um, this ideal that we're seeking. So, you know, why though is this good? On a more practical side, why is this a good business sense? Because we believe that Google as a global corporation also needs to have a, glo a global and multicultural perspective to be able to serve their audience who are not just the people that look like their engineers. Um, and now uh, we'll talk about our solution and why they're uh, going to be achieving this end. Okay, so uh, Wilson said diversity is very important, true. And our recommendation is divided into three pillars. First, retain, recruitment, second, retention, and a long-term initiative. In terms of recruitment, currently Google are only hiring from engineers, specifically from top schools like Berkeley, MIT, and Stanford. Now there's two problems with this initiative. It's the assumption that good engineers only come from top schools. And we don't necessarily think it's true. So the second problem is these schools, they have the diver they don't have the diversity that Google needs. So these schools uh, only, for example, we, we found the data that these schools only have six to 20% minorities in the school. So what we suggest today for the recruitment is for Google to expand their school base to hire from schools that that comes from that have historically been um, minority schools, 
And the second part is retention. Retention, <coughs> retention should come hand in hand with uh, diversity recruiting. So we suggest that Google should focus as much on inclusion as it does on hiring diverse uh, talent pool. Retention and inclusion should come from day one. So Google should have a, a very extensive onboarding program. For example, uh, they can have a shuffled lunches in which new employees, for example minorities, can have lunches and they can use this to, to they can have this to data analytics uh, lunches with people from different backgrounds. This can create a more culturally sensitive organization. And the second part is having a formal mentoring program that will also help uh, senior management become more culturally sensitive and train their uh, skills in terms of leadership. And the third part is we, we suggest Google to include inclusive leadership in their promotional, promotional uh, to management level. And the, and the last part is of the long-term initiative that includes a CSR program to, to promote STEM project, to, to, promote, STEM, uh, to promote STEM in a minority society. So uh, this, we, this program we call a diversity lab. Basically, it's uh, Google, Google employees will come to minority schools and they can promote STEM, STEM uh, subjects by giving lectures, and also these minority students, they can come to Google to look at what people in Google are doing and look at the diversity and the environment to promote STEM, 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 STEM subjects. And also, and also uh, this will help Google employees to be, uh, to be more uh, culturally sensitive and enhance their cult cultural intelligence. And we can also have another program uh, of mentoring uh, which, in which Google employees mentor minority students. And this will help train Google employees to, uh, for their leadership skills and uh, the future of their organization. So we believe these three recommendations for uh, recruitment, retention, and long-term initiative will help Google excel in a diversity in the future.